Hi friends, welcome back. I'm really excited about today's video. We are going to do a kind of mini haul. I bought a few things from Ulta during the Ulta sale and you guys on my community tab told me that you wanted to see a video on some of the things that I picked up and my first impressions. So we're gonna go through some things that I bought at Ulta and things that I bought at some other sales and yeah, I'm real excited about it. If this is your first time here, hi, my name is Amber. I am a former hairdresser turned failed beauty blogger trying to raise my zombie channel from the dead. I had taken a three year break and now we're back in full force. So if you find any value in my content, please go ahead and give it a like, give it a subscribe, share with your friends and let's get into it. So today's makeup is no makeup makeup day. We're gonna be going to a movie later and lunch. And as I was doing my makeup, I was filming and stabbed myself in the eye. So that's why this eye is like super irritated. Just ignore this part right here. It's, it's not good. <laughs> But I did use some of these products that we're gonna be talking about today. I wanted to show you some of them in action as well. So why don't we just hop in and I will stop rambling, I promise. First off, why don't we start with complexion products that I bought during the sale. And a couple of things that I wanna just caveat is these products were 50% off. I would never normally buy these products if they were full price. So if it's something that you absolutely love and have tried before and it's a staple in your collection, definitely spend the money because you know how it performs, you know that you love the product. But this is not to say that you should run out and buy these products immediately just because of a review. So just a caveat, you know, save your pennies and reinvest. So let's start with complexion products. The first thing that I did buy that I had never tried before but was 50% off at Ulta was the Ordinary Cleanser and a Makeup Remover in One. Looks like that. I have tried this numerous times since I got it and I love how emollient it is. What I do is it's a kind of a cream base when it comes out of the package. You rub it in your hands together and then get it nice and warm and it kind of turns into like an oil base. You rub it all over your dry face. And I know that sounds really weird. You don't get your face wet or take off your makeup first. You go in hard over your makeup and it just removes everything. And it just leaves you feeling so clean. This gives you some very nice hydration in your face as well. So I would highly suggest getting maybe a sample size of this if they have it. Or if you're in the market for a makeup remover and a cleanser, together, this is definitely the one to go to. Funny thing is, it's very similar to the pre-cleanse from Dermalogica, but it's like pre-cleanse meets their cleanser and it's put into one is this product. It's, it's their love child and it's fantastic. So the next complexion product that I picked up during the sale was again, a higher end product that I normally would never buy for myself unless it was 50% off, is the Confidence in a Cream Moisturizer, the Super Cream, and it's anti-aging from It Cosmetics. So this one is really nice. I have tried it twice since I got it. I have switched over because this is a super moisturizing cream. It is very, very thick and a little goes a very long way. The packaging itself is really nice. It's a glass container, very heavy duty, very luxurious. The little bit of smell that it does have is it's very spa-like. It seeps into the skin fairly quickly, but it doesn't leave you with a film. And that's what I was really worried about. A lot of moisturizers for me leave me with a film over my skin and it doesn't feel like my skin actually has absorbed the product. This doesn't do that. And I have been interchanging my Tatcha with this one. And I think that because I'm running low now on my Tatcha, I'm just going to use this solely once that is done. And I'll put that in my empties video because you guys have overwhelmingly told me that you like empties videos. It's like speed reviews. And I love that. So I will definitely be doing that once I have a few more that I'm working through because I do have some products that I'm almost finished with that I want to add to that video. Besides the point, this cream is wonderful. It's a great night cream. I would say unless you're super dehydrated to the point where it's like burlap or a corn husk of the skin, you don't need this during the day, but it's a wonderful night cream. Next on the list of things that I bought during the sale was the Body Firm Crepe Erase Lift and Smooth Neck Firming Treatment from True Firm. This stuff is wonderful, okay? And it has this really epic roller on the end and it says off and on. So you turn it and you turn it on and you can squeeze out the product or you can turn it off. 
and you literally go through and roll it on your neck at night after you've done your your washing with this and a little bit of cream just a dab of cream then you go in with this on your neck and everything just tightens immediately everything all the creepiness all of that feeling of like droopiness in your neck this stuff just snaps it right back and body firm has got it right whatever formula or magic that they have going on in here is thank you makeup heaven <laughs> it's so good i love it i highly recommend this if you are looking for something like myself to kind of tighten it up underneath here because your girl has lack of neck okay I have very, very small neck, and that is just genetics. There's no way around it, but this stuff at least makes me feel like I have a little bit of a jawline. <laughs> I know that sounds crazy, but it's the truth. Okay, so the next thing that I purchased was the Uum Beauty Weightless Soft Matte Hydrating Foundation. So when I hear soft matte hydrating foundation, it's kind of like an oxymoron. You don't think that hydration and a soft matte finish would work together, but it is a wonderful foundation. I really have enjoyed it. I could probably go about a shade and a half darker than what this is, and that's okay. And I did find out the hard way, a little goes a long way. If you use too much, you will look aged, but it does have a beautiful finish once you blur it out. I used a brush as well as a beauty blender, and I find that the brush works better for a very small amount of product. And I do feel like it stays on my face all day. It will not move, it will not budge. It does dry down to a soft matte finish. I've been interchanging this with a couple other foundations because I've been looking for that perfect holy grail foundation, haven't found it yet, but this is definitely in the rotation and I do enjoy it. So obviously, I I have been shopping and I was on the M Cosmetics website. I have only ever heard wonderful things about it. They had a 20% off if you signed up for their email list. So I was like, well, why not? I have a separate email just for all of my makeup emails, just so that I can get updates on sales and things like that. And I don't need to see them every single day, but if I want them, they're all in one place. What I picked up was the Dream Cushion Perfect and Perfect Broad Spectrum SPF 50 PA++, which I have no idea what that means. If you do, please put it in the comments below because your girl is not up on the SPF life yet. And this is the full size kit. So I picked up the compact. This came with it, which was the cushion, I guess a replacement. That'll go in my drawer as a backup just once I'm done with this. And the cushion was really interesting to me. It reminded me of the Wet n Wild cushions. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I'll put a picture here in post always because you know I love my pictures. And it looks like this. Honestly, it works really well. I have it on today and it does blend out really nicely. The way that Michelle Fawn put it on when she was using it on her channel because I did so much research making sure that I was applying it correctly. She took a wet beauty sponge and she went ahead and put it on top of the cushion, then put it on either side of her face here and here and one or two dabs here and one on the chin and then blend it out with the beauty blender. And honestly, that's how I used it today and I love it. I think it works really well. It leaves my skin with a nice finish. I don't feel like it is overly drying. It feels like my skin and it doesn't cover as much as I had hoped. I wish it would have covered just a little bit more just because of again my redness that will never go away because I think it's a birthmark to be a thousand percent honest with you. There's no bumps or anything. It literally is just under the skin and it's maybe because I'm Casper and totally translucent at this point and have no tan. So that's probably why it's so prevalent, but I just wish I had a little bit more coverage. Again, I'm really excited to play with it a little bit more, but I do really enjoy the finish. And I think for a no makeup makeup day, this totally on point, I love it. I will definitely be using that in the rotation along with my Ulan. Before we talked about foundations, I wish we would have talked about primers, but let me go ahead and just talk about them now. So I did end up picking up the Smashbox Photo Finish Correct Anti-Redness Primer with algae, and it looks like it's a silk screen, silk screen complex. It looks like this. 
in the box and I was really worried that this is gonna be very, very similar to the Smashbox one that it was all silicone and it was green and it was a mess. This is definitely more of a lotion base. It is fantastic. I feel like my redness does calm down substantially with it. And the only drawback that I have with this is when I use a stipple brush like this one to blend it out on my face, the bristles turn green and it takes a little while to wash them out. My face though does calm down it doesn't leave me with a green cast either and if you are red and fair and pink like myself this is definitely something that will calm that down before you go in with maybe your glowing complexion products or like a glow oil or something like that I always put this on first as a corrector and honestly it works fantastic I would highly recommend it the other primer that I picked up and the reason I picked this one up is because I know exactly how it performs the reason that I picked this up obviously is I use this same primer for my wedding day. I had a little mini of it that I used and I just absolutely love this product. I've been using it for years. So what I'm talking about is the Stila One Step Correct Skin Tone Correcting and Brightening Primer. I love this stuff. I live for this stuff. I live and breathe for it. The Smashbox one is more obviously on the green side. It doesn't have any of the extra steps to it, but the formula itself is actually really good. This one is a little bit more creamy it definitely goes on and gives you a little bit more of that incandescent look and it gives you some glow and some shine and it corrects the redness in my skin I love this. This was a recommendation from Shan XO maybe five years ago and she used it on her channel and she has the same kind of redness and pinkiness in her skin like I do so I took her word for it and it was the best thing I ever did. If I can get it 50% off Heck yeah, I'm gonna pick it up. If you are like me and you're just a fair girl, this is a game changer for sure. So a couple other complexion products that I did pick up, I've just, I'm looking for my holy grail foundation and you know your girl is crazy because she's like needing to try everything because it's been a long time. So I picked up the Fenty Beauty Soft Matte Longwear Foundation and I got a mini in it. And this color is number 150. It's neutral undertones. Looks like this. I have not tried this yet, but I did also pick up, which I wish this one would have come in a mini size too. That would have been fantastic. But this is the Pro Filter Hydrating Longwear Foundation from Fenty as well. They had a 25% off sale. So again, that's why I picked these up. I would have never bought these for myself if it wasn't on sale. So this one looks like this is more of a hydrating longwear foundation. And this one is definitely more of a matte finish together. They're both uh, number 150 on both, which is a neutral undertones. It's a light fair neutral undertones. I like the fact that it comes in a pump. It reminds me a lot of the CC cream from It Cosmetics. I don't know about the actual product inside, but these are definitely two things that I will be trying and seeing how the formula is. So let's talk about some contour and some bronzing products. So I did end up going with the Fenty Cheeks Out Freestyle Cream Bronzer in the shade Amber. So her and I are getting acquainted. If we both have the same name, it can't be bad, right? This one I tried because of Julia Adams, but she is more on the fair side and she loves this product. So I went ahead and picked this up. She is a little scary in the container only because she is so gray and so much on the cooler side, but that was something I was looking for because all the bronzers and cream bronzers that I have are very warm tone and they tend to make me look a little orange. So I wanted to try something a little bit different and I didn't have anything in my collection like this. Again, I got 25% off. I said, why not? Also, her companion is named Amber as well. So me and the girls are all hanging out. So this one is called the Matchstick Matte Skin Stick Crayon. I'm not 100% sure. All I know is it's a cream contour stick. It's what I have on today. It's very, very light. And I could have probably gone one shade darker with this guy. You actually have time to blend the product before it dries down. It is malleable. I do really like this and it is very light and buildable. It doesn't disturb the foundation or anything else you put underneath it either. So that's really nice. I do like this product. And just a little side tip, I do love the packaging. It's wonderful. <laughs> So from M Cosmetics, I did end up picking up a contour stick from them as well. This one is called So Soft 
multi base play bronze and sculpt this one is again a little bit warmer amber from fenty is a little bit more on the cool side it's nice that i'll able to blend these together and use a little bit of amber and then a little bit of summer over top and blend them together i think that they would be a beautiful combo they both seem to have the same kind of formulation meaning that you are able to work with it before it dries down and it doesn't just set to your face i'm excited to use these together so i did pick up a couple of cream blushes as well i picked up the m cosmetics rose milk and this one has been viral and the packaging is really cute it's very luxurious it's a glass container i love the little pop top here i think it's very very cute and the color is beautiful i don't have this on today but i will be playing with this guy i feel like this one is a little bit of a learning curve you do have to either put it on the back of your hand and then dab that on with maybe a beauty sponge or take a very fluffy contour brush and then put it on that way we'll play with it because i feel like a little bit goes a very long way with this and it does have some pigmentation to it so i'm a little scared <laughs> to try this one for the first time but i think that we will do it we will see how this goes but i love the color i think the color is absolutely beautiful and be very complimentary to my skin tone and the other ones that i picked up were from rare beauty and actually i got these minis at kohl's yeah, at Kohl's. And they came in three mini bottles. They look like this. They're super cute. This one is called Peace and it is more of like a peachy color. We've got Bliss, which is this one. It's a little bit more of like a dusty rose tone. And then we have Hope is what I have on today. It's got more of a pink undertone to it. It's really gorgeous and it's kind of a more neutral pink. I went in and just dabbed three dabs on my cheeks and went in again with a fluffy brush and just blended it out. And if it was too much, because I think three dots of this was way too much for what I was going for today, I took a wet beauty blender and just dabbed it out and it looks beautiful. The formula is really good, but again, the pigmentation is ridiculous with these cream blushes so be very careful a little goes a long way and hence why i bought minis because you don't need a whole lot you don't need to buy a whole big one because these little guys will last me forever practically so between these and the m cosmetics i think i'm set for the summer on blushes so the last thing that i got from the ulta sale that I know I didn't need, but I'm really happy I have, is a couple of It Cosmetics brushes and the brush bath. I just washed all my brushes and use my Cinema Secrets, but again, that is extremely fragrant, so I can't use that all the time. I love this because it does come in its own little container and you whirl it in here with some water and gets it all nice and clean. And then you can just rinse this off. You can take it out, rinse it out, and put it back. But the brushes that I ended up picking up from the sale is the Air brush full coverage complexion brush and this is a limited edition brush this one is more triangle and i love it because you can actually get into those corners and go underneath the eyes in between the brows with this as well because of the corner so this is going to be something new for me i will definitely let you know if this becomes my holy grail brush because it from the looks of it, it might. <laughs> so this was the next brush that I picked up. I do like it because it is a little bit more tapered on either side. So it gets around those brows if you're doing or carving them out, or if you're going underneath the eye. Again, this is a good brush to kind of blur out some of that foundation or concealer. But also I feel like it would be really good around the nose and the jawline if you're using a cream contour. And that was the reason why I bought it because it's so small and so dense that I could really get in with that cream contour and go through the forehead and the hollows of the cheeks and right on the jawline. I think that this is gonna do a fabulous job of blending out those cream products. How could you go wrong, right? <laughs> So that is my haul today. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Anything that you guys have questions on or want to see, please leave it in the comments below. I'm very active in my comment section, my community tab as well. I ask you guys questions and take polls on content that you 
want to see because I want to make content that you guys want. And it's very interactive for me because I feel like you guys are my friends. So I want to make sure that you feel included in everything that we're doing over here. If you haven't already, please go ahead and hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, share with friends. And I love you guys so much. Have a wonderful afternoon. And if you want to check out some other content, please check out these two playlists with a ton of dupe videos and uh, how to's and tutorials. I love you guys so much. Have a wonderful afternoon and I'll see you in the next one.